Pakistan has slipped into a major economic crisis. The Pakistan rupee has been falling continuously and its foreign exchange reserves are depleting. The country is also facing an energy shortage and fuel prices are going through the roof. Pakistan is heavily dependent on imported fuel for its power needs. Therefore, the government has come up with desperate measures to reduce its energy bills. Shopping malls and markets have been told to close as early as 8:30 p.m. Restaurants have been told to pull down their shutters by 10 p.m. The production of inefficient fans has been banned and government departments have been asked to cut electricity usage by 30%. Pakistan's economic crisis comes months after the country suffered catastrophic floods in 2022. Last year, the country's foreign exchange reserves dwindled to a little over 9 billion dollars, the rough equivalent of the country being able to pay for 6 weeks of imports. They hit a low of 5.56 billion dollars in January 2023. Year-on-year -year inflation stood at 24.5% in 2022. Other than seeking bailouts, the government of Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has been able to do little to stabilize the economic situation or give relief to the people. Ab aata mili nahi riya. Ke to milta bhi aata land pe lagen jol ke tusi dekho mentor road ta gaddi lagi di hai. 500 aadmi ho bhi apne liye hazaron logon de ne jehde gareeb log ohno de de. Currently, Mr. Sharif's administration is engaged in negotiations over the delayed release of 1.1 billion dollars from the International Monetary Fund. Finance Minister Ishaq Dar announced that Saudi Arabia and China were all set to shore up Pakistan's foreign exchange reserves before the end of January. According to the BBC, Defence Minister Khawaja Asif says the enforcement of the energy conservation plan will save Pakistan around 62 billion rupees or 274.3 million dollars. After global energy prices rose last year due to the war in Ukraine, it put more pressure on the economy. Traders have refused to close markets by 8:30 p.m. Restaurant associations say the real crisis is inflation. They say the price of chicken meat surpassed 800 rupees, while that of sugar and rice are above 400 rupees. In the past, Pakistan's army leaders have been crucial to ensuring that Saudi Arabia come to the aid of the country at critical times. With Pakistan's new army chief, General Asim Munir, currently on a visit to Saudi Arabia and then to the United Arab Emirates, Finance Minister Ishaq Dar is confident about the Saudis helping to tide over this crisis.